We've talked about this before, uh, but there's a, there's a big story out uh, about this equity in math in California. So you remember uh, there were certain school districts in California that were um, that for a few years now, particularly in San Francisco, were not teaching were not teaching anybody uh, uh, algebra at eighth grade. That is, they had banned algebra from eighth grade for middle school, and only uh, uh, algebra was only offered in high school, even for kids who were ready for algebra, even for kids who knew algebra, all in the name of. We don't, want to we don't want to treat the smart kids, the able kids, the kids who know math, better than the kids who don't. So all in the name of, quote, you know, pseudo equity, right? Um, and then there was also this attitude uh, in California that we shouldn't segregate classes by ability. So, I mean, when I went to school, high school, right, you had three levels of math you had very advanced you had intermediate and you had beginners and and you, you picked which one of those and you were tested and graded based on the level of math so people who want to go into sciences engineering picked you know advanced math and so on um i, I did advanced math and and and, and uh, but you had that option right you had that option but in california they have embraced this idea that no we need to have everybody in the same class and teach to the lowest common denominator. Again, in the name of equity, so that the kids who are not that good at math don't feel bad because they're in a different class. They're, you know, in a, in a, in a less advanced class, we need to treat them all the same in the name of equity. And of course, study after study after study has shown that not only is this hurt the able, hurt those kids that are good at math, we all know that, that's obvious, and I don't think anybody, anybody who supports these kind of things cares, but also shows that it doesn't help the other kids. So it's lose, 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 lose proposition. Anyway, all of this has been encoded in a set of curriculum recommendations, not, this is not, you know, they, they don't have to adopt it, it's a set of curriculum recommendations that's been adopted by the state of California called California Math Framework that uh, basically uh, has, has been distributed around the state. Some school districts are paying attention to it, some others are not. But this idea of no algebra in middle school, uh, classes with all students teaching law, uh, lowest common denominator, all of that is, is, uh, is part of this California Math Framework. Now, it turns out that a lot of this and I think we mentioned this before, a lot of this is based on the work of one Stanford academic, not even work, based on the advocacy of one Stanford academic, a woman by the name of Joe Bowler, who is a, a professor of mathematics education. Well, uh, last week, I guess, there was published a 100-page complaint by an anonymous source, so unauthored, but uh, an anonymous source, uh, that claims uh, that uh, Joe Bowler in her research, the research on which, and in her citations, all of which uh, this California math framework is based on, are fraudulent. That is, they've been misrepresented, her research has been misrepresented, uh, uh, even her title, she often presents herself as a PhD in mathematics. No, she has a PhD in mathematics, in education of mathematics, not in mathematics itself. She's not a mathematician. Uh, but uh, the 100 page, uh, 100 page document, which is well sourced uh, and published, as I said, anonymously, uh, is uh, basically claims that these citations that she uses are misrepresented and that all of these misrepresentations have made it into the California math framework. So what you have here is, today is I mean, this is, shouldn't be shocking to anybody. What you have is major math recommendations for the state of California, how to teach in the public schools and the government schools in California, based on flawed work, based on um, uh, distorted, perverted work that uh, it has no basis in reality and uh, that basically misrepresents what is going on at the expense of students, particularly students of ability, but really at the expense of all students. 
Now, you know, I say particularly students of ability, that is what should be particularly shocking. It used to be that we cherished students of ability, we invested in students of ability, we realized that students of ability, people who are particularly smart and particularly able or particularly motivated, contribute an enormous amount to all of us, that we all have a selfish incentive to support them and to see them flourish and to see them succeed and innovate and grow and discover new knowledge. These are the people who change the world. Most of us, 99% of us, who are average within certain, a, a number, you know, one standard deviation or whatever, um, are, are, are not going to dramatically change science, change the business world, change the world. It's a certain percentage, or 1% probably, of the population that has an overwhelming majority of all the impact, positive impact, through science, technology, and business, and medicine, and things like that on the world out there. And yet, we rely on geniuses. We stand on, on, on the shoulders of geniuses. And, then, and yet, uh, the state of California, as I think many states are, trying their best to subvert that, to undermine that, to repress those people. I mean, this is part of kind of a whole philosophy, I guess, of stagnation, all in the name of it's not fair that some people are smart and some people are not. And of course, once egalitarianism is your standard, that is equality of outcome is your standard, then all there is is the destruction of ability and destruction of talents and destruction of genius. Again, for anybody who hasn't heard my spiel on uh, on uh, the Khmer Rouge, uh, check out my talks on on inequality. I mean, it, 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 it's the fact that we are different is a fact of existence. It's not fair or unfair. It just is. And the fact that there are among us great geniuses makes us all better. And yet California wants to end that, destroy that, in the name of you know, equality of outcome, in the name of the most nihilistic, anti-life, anti-human being, anti-man philosophy ever, the philosophy that should all be have the same outcome, uh, and, and destroy those who have ability who might be better than us in some capacity. So, um, yeah, super horrific. I'm glad that Joe Bowler is, is being uh, uh, shown for what she is. Um, a, a, you know, she's both a, a liar and a, um, uh, you know, a, 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 what do you call it? An ideological uh, egalitarian who will do anything to subvert ability and, and destroy ability. I don't know what drives her. I don't know what the motivation is. But I can tell you this. She's not subverting herself. So, for example, she sends her kids to a private school that costs $48,000 a year. And to help make money for that, she charges school districts, including some of the poorest school districts in California, $5,000 an hour for consulting. So we're talking about somebody who has, uh, above and beyond just the, the evil ideology and uh, the willingness to lie in order to get that evil ideology uh, uh, hearing, she also uh, has the, uh, the uh, audacity, uh, oh, which is, I guess, consistent, of making as much money as she can for herself at the same time. Uh, anyway, another despicable human being, another despicable human being, and, um, uh, and uh, I, I hope, I really, really, really hope that this kind of... You know, it uh, starts building a momentum against uh, the whole uh, new uh, egalitarian approach to mathematics that I'm sure other states are looking at too, particularly, uh, you know, other states dominated by the left. Uh, but, it, it, you know, it, we need to crush this in California and we need to crush it every, everywhere it appears. I mean, these people really hate. That's what drives them, right? 
So um, I hope the California mathematics, uh, met, uh, the California mathematics framework, uh, which has been approved and now circulating, I, I hope it is ignored, and I hope that ultimately um, uh, that ultimately nobody else adopts it and the California drops it, and that we get more reason in mathematics.